Hello, this is Kyron Intuition, and I'm here to do a reading for the collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone, but if it does, take what goes, and please leave what does not. Knight of Swords. Uh oh, Judgment. Mm. Ten of Pentacles here. Somebody about. <laughs> okay, first of all, somebody's about to come into a lot of money. Okay, this is this was okay. Earned is not the right word. This is something that was like ordained. How about that? This money that's supposed to come to you was ordained. There is somebody that's going to come talk to you. I don't know if this is the form. It's in the form of like a lawyer or something like that. But somebody is about to bestow a lot of money on somebody, okay? But there's a few things that had to be talked about. There's a few papers that probably got to be signed. There's a few, you know, little dotting the I's and crossing the T's that got to be done. You know, I'm seeing that. But this is something that's coming from higher up. This is something that probably you never thought was coming. Because, right, nobody knows when Judgment Day is coming, right? So this was something that you probably never would happen or you never imagined it you never thought about it it was something that was never look at that tower tower i'm not even gonna take all these cards but how the tower fell out with all these cards all these cards right here that's a lot look at the tower right there the tower okay this is something that's going to change who you are from the inside out from the bottom up okay you are going to be somebody that you never thought you know how many people every day like, I don't know, let's say, for example, win the lottery and go buy a mansion or go buy a big house or like a whole a lot of times, um, the you know, the lottery does that for people or other things like even, you know, I'm not trying to tell nobody to go gamble, but somebody is about to come into a lot of money here. Mm. And, and right when you have money, you got people trying to come and, and take that or try to come con that or try to. OK. Okay, look, whoever it is that's coming to you telling you this, I don't think it, it might not be a lawyer. I hope it's not a lawyer because I see this seven, I see this seven of um the swords here. Okay, I really hope it's not that. I really hope that this is more so people that you have to discern whether you can trust them or not because people are going to come out the woodworks when you get this money. You don't need tarot to tell you that, but clearly it's right next to the ten of pentacles, the seven of swords. Like it's it's like a reminder. Like people are out to get you. Like after this, after this is bestowed upon you, people are going to come right to you. Okay, people are gonna be calling you that ain't never called you. People that you thought lost your number is they gonna find it then. Okay, and then you got the six of pentacles here. Yes, people is looking for some type of handout here. People is gonna tell you all types of shit. They're gonna tell you whatever the hell they gotta tell you, but it's not true. They're gonna say, oh my, my family in the hospital. Like your whole family in the hospital, okay? They're going to tell you some shit and they're going to expect some type of handout here with the Six of Pentacles. I'm telling you, they're going to try to get you, okay? But don't do it because the angels are the ones that stepped in and gave this to you. It was God that stepped in and gave this to you because your spirit guides and your angels think that you deserve it. And that's just how it's going to be. And I've seen the Ten of Cups down here, look. Ten of Cups at the bottom. I've seen the Ten of Cups. Like, this is everything that you was meant to have. This is bestowed upon you from something higher than you, okay? This is beyond this life. This is something that you earned from past lives, okay? And now it's going to be yours. You just never know. You just never know. Okay, look at this. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I knew this was going to be a seven card reading. Then we got the two of wands here, and we got the temperance here, Okay? So, this money is not just for shits and giggles. You have to get on your path. You have to find, how can I say this? If you have some type of interest, like some type of business interest, right? You have to put money towards that. If there was something that you always wanted to do, like you always wanted to help the animals or something like that, okay? This money is for that. This money is not for you to go and buy the Lamborghini that you want, the house that you want, you know, that's not what this is for. This is something a lot deeper than that. And that's why it's imperative you don't let people take it from you. Okay? Because you have important things that you have to do. They're going to be lying anyway. I don't like the fact that this Seven of Swords is in the middle of my reading. I really don't like that. 
But what it is telling me, because it's not just a bad thing, it's also telling me that you need to be clever. You need to be very clever about who you tell, what you say, how you say it, what you do, what people see. You have to be very clever. I mean, you have to be very. You have to be the most clever mf -er that ever walked the face of the earth when this money comes into your life. Because there's you if you spend this money or you do something that you're not supposed to do with this money, you're not going to be able to get on your path here. It's the two of wands temperance over here. Okay? You will not be able to get on your path if you spend this money. Can y'all see that? Okay. You will not be able to you you don't have no choice. It's either stay where you are or go on your path. If you stay where you are and spend all that money, you're not going to be able to go on your path. You're going to be in the same situation that you were left in. And there's people that do that too, that make dumb decisions when they come into this money. They say, oh, I, you know, if I ever come into money, I'm going to do this, this, that, that, and the third. And then when they get the money, they go and do something else. Okay? Don't be that person. Not my collective. Not my collective. Don't, don't, don't be that person. Okay? But when you come into this money, you got to do what you know you're supposed to do. Okay? It's not for shits and giggles. Look at this. Eight of swords out here. Okay? I'm telling you, somebody is coming to break you out of bondage. Somebody is coming to break that spell, that curse, that generational curse, that financial curse. Somebody is coming to break that. Somebody's coming to break that. I'm not playing. Like, but you gotta you gotta be on the hush hush. You see all these swords, they connect. You got to be on the hush-hush when this person comes in and breaks you out of this, okay? It's like what Spirit wants you to know is that your words matter. Your words do matter. What you think, what you say, it all has power. It all has meaning, okay? And you're meant to be somebody that can make choices. You're meant to be some like a boss or somebody that, how can I say this? You're meant to speak on Somebody here, this is not for everybody, but somebody here is meant to speak on the trauma that they've been through. Okay? Somebody is meant to come out of this mental prison here and be a master of what it is they were imprisoned in. Okay? Because the king is, is in the suit. The king of sword is comfortable with this, with swords. I mean, any, any sword, um, how can I say, any sword court card, they are comfortable in their suit they are familiar with their suit so this is somebody that's going to be able to articulate the imprisonment okay they're going to be able to articulate what they've been through okay and they're going to be thankful for that that they can speak on what they've been through like it's easier to talk about what you've been through than to talk about what you're going through this person is about to be released judgment was a second card this person is about to be released and they're going to be able to speak they're going to have power with their words they're going to be able to make shit happen because swords is action too this person is going to be able to make shit happen like when this judgment comes in okay wow how those came out together like that i think i just got these two in my last reading together um this Ten of Pentacles here, over this Five of Wands, I really think you're going to have people at your neck. You're going to have people trying to fight for that money. You're going to have people trying to come for you. You're going to have people trying to sue you. You're going to have people trying to do a lot of things, but God is not going to let it happen. As long as you stay on the path, because that's the thing that's going to keep you on the path, is the fact that these people coming for you, the only way you're going to win this fight, this battle, when this money comes in, the only way you're going to win it is if you stay true to the path. If you stay true to what you said and what you know you need to do, or if you need to figure it out, you need to figure it out. But that's going to keep you on your toes. Because if you if you don't keep your word, I'm telling you, spirit is going to let these people take everything from you. Okay? And as far as, and this is in the middle too. Look, I told you that people is going to give you every damn sob story with this five of cups here. They're going to give you every damn sob story they can, and they're lying, okay? They're lying. They did not have those problems when you was broke. Now, excuse me, now you got money. Here, everybody come with their problems. But look, look what's at the bottom. I'm telling you, they're going to be lying. They're going to give you any story. Oh, my dog, his leg done broke. I got to take him to the damn vet. I don't have the money. Oh, I ain't got no gas. Oh, I, 
They going to tell you everything that they can possibly pull out of their ass to tell you to get this money up out of you. Okay? And you cannot give in. You got to be smart. You got to be smart. You got to be smart. Shouldn't nobody even know what's in your pocket, first of all. And then with this Ace of Cup here, I'm trying to tell you, this is their mission. This is all they want. They're giving you the sob story to get you to give them something. Ace of Cups, Six of Pentacles. That's all they want. That was their mission the whole time. This is what their soul want. This is what they was after the whole time. Okay? It's a handout. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Give to the ones that deserve it, okay? Give to the ones that's on your path that, you know, maybe done, they done been there or... I don't know. I, I, can't, I can't tell you what to do with your money or how to handle it. But what I can say is please don't... Don't fall for everything, okay? Don't fall for the ones that ain't never did shit for you, ain't never been there for you, don't even fucking like you. You know, don't be that person. Because I'm sensing that. I really am. Um, with this two of wands here, and this six of wands, this is like the energy of like coming out of whatever situation and moving forward successfully. The only way that you are going to successfully get through all of this shit is if you do what you said that you was going to do or you do something that you know that you need to do. And it does not consist of giving people money here and there. It does not consist of that. Give to the people that you're meant to give to. It's not for everybody. I'm not trying to tell you to be stingy. That's not what it is. But you do have to be very smart. Okay? Seven of sword. You got to be very, very smart about who you give it to. Okay? You need to be very smart about it. Ace of Sword at the bottom here. Okay? You need to be very smart about this. Like, smart about your actions. Smart about your ideas and what you say. Because I'm trying to tell you, people will come out of the woodworks on you. <sighs> yeah. You going on this path to healing here. Because Five of Pentacles can also be healing. Okay, because healing is also painful, right? But I'm getting the other side of this five of pentacles, like I said, which is healing. Instead of being the, the poor, the poor side of the five of pentacles, I'm seeing the part after the poor. I'm seeing the part of regaining that strength and getting back on your path. You know, it's almost like I feel like this is somebody that may have been on their path doing something and something knocked them off. I get the energy of somebody getting back on their path. They're getting back on this. Or maybe in the past you said you was going to do something and you didn't do it and everything got taken from you. And now you have an, another opportunity. God is giving you another chance to do what's right and you got to do what's right and you got to be even smarter this time. That is what I'm seeing. The nine of wands here. I really feel like somebody is about to... Okay. I already said somebody is about to take you out of this bondage. Okay. And I think that it's going to be... Like, you're probably not even going to believe that this is happening. And you're probably going to have your guard up about it. And my thing is, you're going to get past that. You're going to open up. You're going to understand that this is the moment. Like, whatever you've been through, this is the moment that everything changes right here. And you can believe what's happening in front of you. Whoever this is for, you can believe... That this is really going to release you. You can believe that this is really coming to you. You can believe in all the work that you put into your life. Okay? And learning about, let's say, your energy and your path and your purpose. Because that's what wands is. It's that fire that we have within us. And this is somebody that has really, really, really done the work to the highest level. Okay? And I don't know how long it took. Everybody it takes a different amount of time. But whoever this is... They have gotten to the top of, let's say, learning about their personal energy. And there is no reason for you to mess this up. If you are a person that got nine of wands energy within you, you are not going to take a sob story because your intuition is going to tell you that that's a damn lie. OK, you're not going to you're, you're going to know when somebody's trying to attack you with this five of wands. You're going to know when somebody's trying to attack you or when they're being jealous or when they're giving you, you know, evil lie and stuff like that. You're going to 100 percent know. And you do know, even though you're entrapped right now, you do know everything, okay? You are aware of everything, but something is going to completely release you and you're going to have power to do what you want to do. And you got to believe that this is happening. You got to believe that this is happening. You got to believe that you earned this. People earn this shit every day. 
you got the hangman underneath the king of swords. The things you're going to be able to control things that you ain't never been able to control. You're going to be able, like your voice is going to matter. When you say do something or when you want something done, it's not going to be like how it was in the past. And that's why you got you to gotta really believe this. You got to really understand that like from one day to the next, you can have power. Like it happens every day in this world. Every day in this world, people discount how powerful they are because they don't have other people validating them. And that's not true. You got the high priestess here. Okay, you're going to know when somebody's attacking you. You're going to know when somebody's going to attack you. You're going to know when you meet somebody whether you can trust them or not. With money or information or anything, okay? You are absolutely going to know. Spirit did not just equip you with this money. Spirit equipped you with protection. Spirit equipped you with intellect, okay? Spirit is, is not just giving you this just for you to go sit on your ass. So you do, you need a what you call like an arsenal you need like a whole uh thing uh, how can i say you need to have abilities in order to do what it is you're meant to do here spirit is releasing you but not only is spirit releasing you spirit is giving you certain spiritual gifts in order to navigate this path that they have created for you okay now you got this eight of yeah, this is walking away from that bullshit. This is walking away from those sob stories, walking away from people trying to con you, walking away from people that's going to come out of the woodworks even though they ain't never gave you a damn pot to piss in. Walking away from that. Those people are not love. That is not love. You should not even... Like, when you're on your path and your purpose, you have to be strong enough to say, this person is not on my path. This person has nothing to do with my purpose. I don't need to be around them. With this nine of wands energy, this is somebody that has been through shit. They have been through the works. They are tired of fighting. And that's why this is coming in. Perfect timing for this to come in. And if you use if you use the messages that the high priestess gives you, you will not find yourself in these battles. You will not find yourself losing these battles. If you use the intellect that spirit has bestowed upon you, you will not find yourself sad. You will not find yourself feeling like, oh, I trusted them, but they conned me. No, you're not going to go through that. Spirit is going to show you 100% who's there for you and who is not. Let me get something next to this um, Ace of Cups here. I mean, under the Ace of Cups. Oh, wow. Under the Ace of Cups, you got the Ace of Pentacles. I'm trying to tell you. This is some type of, this is some type of job, some type of profession. This is something that's in line, in tune with who you are. Okay. And you're meant to give back to those people that are in line with what it is that you're trying to do. Okay? Not people all the way over there on the wayside that always been over there, but they're only coming over here because you got money. You got to forget those people. I'm sorry. The Eight of Cups is here. In the middle of a six reading deck. I mean, a seven card across. Okay? This is the, the middle row. Okay? This Eight of Cups right here, you have got to walk away. From the people that you thought you loved or that thought loved you, they are not going to show you that. They are gonna, they're going to try to con you. I was about to say they're going to try to con you, girl. <laughs> or dude or whoever. But they're going to they gonna really try. They're really going to try. And you can't invest in that no more. You got to invest in your path. Queen of Pentacles here. I told you. You got to invest in this. Somebody is about to be paid. Somebody is about to take whatever money that's going to give to them. They're going to increase it. They're going to more than double it. Okay? And that's why it's being given to you because spirit knows that you're going to do this right. Spirit don't do this for everybody. Let me get one more card over here. Yeah, definitely. Somebody is about to be a boss. Somebody is about to be a manifester here. Queen of Swords, yup. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody is about to be in control here. Somebody is about to make moves. Somebody is about to create like action here. Okay. Now I am getting this is something that has to do with some type of divorce because I got the King of Swords here and I got the Queen of Swords. So I am feeling like this is some type of separation or some type of freedom from somebody that has tried to hold you back. Okay. But you are going to be free. You're going to have to be very smart in order to stay on the path to healing. This is not an easy road here. Okay? It's never going to be. And the moment that you take, you put your guard down, you're going to see why you can't do that. 
you're going to see why that you have to be for the rest of your life. You have to be smart with this money. You have to be smart with this, this gift. Okay. And that's what spirit knows that you're going to be able to do. And what's that? The eight of pentacles. Somebody here is meant to be a professional. Look at this. The moon card again in this reading. I just had the moon card too many times in my last deck. But moon card again. You got the eight of pentacles here. This is something that you was meant to do. This is something that you was meant to do. This is something that is meant to be your profession. This is something that's meant to bring you all of the abundance that you deserve. All of this right here that's happening is meant for you to create some type of business, for you to build some type of institution, some type of industry, something. It's something here because it's, it's bigger than you with this moon card here. This is way bigger than you. You got to leave this behind so that when, let's say, Somebody's going to be born back into this world. They're going to need that business. Okay. There's, there's people that's going to be born back into this world. That's going to need what you are providing. That's how deep this is. Like planting a tree and not being alive long enough to see the tree grow into a tree. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's important and it's bigger than you. And you got to stick with spirit and you got to be very smart and you got to make sure that you don't let people con you out of this shit because then you'll never get to the path you'll never be able to continue you'll be stuck in a limbo there because you didn't you didn't believe okay but i'm gonna leave the reading right there Whew. if you like the way that i read please like share and subscribe thank you so much for your like shares and subscribe so far i really really appreciate it because it is how we get the messages out in order to elevate the collective so i love you guys and i'll be back with another reading later bye